We'd like to congratulate Nick Dunlap, winner of the Barracuda Championship, two-time PGA Tour winner, and first player in history to win as an amateur and as a professional in the same season. How does that sound? It's kind of neat. <laughs> it's it's really cool. Um, yeah, never never thought that I would have my name next to that, but it's uh, it's definitely an honor and. Um, it's it's been a little a little tough after Amex. It, you know, you kind of lose a little bit of confidence and wonder if you can do it again. And um, I truly do. I have, I have the greatest team, and they they support me. They believe in me. They push me, and um, they're the reason that I'm here. Going back to that first win as an amateur, how do you come off from going straight from college to then as a professional, or do you reassess and kind of make those goals? Yeah, um, I, I think it's you know, your expectations go through the roof a little bit. And uh, I knew I needed to get a lot better at, at a couple different aspects of my game. And one of them was driving the golf ball and, and chipping. And I've worked uh, very, very hard. I um, started working with Josh Gregory a couple months ago. He's helped me tremendously with my short game and kind of scheduling or structuring my practice out here. And um, those two things have gotten a lot better. And that's kind of the things that I've, I've been focusing on. I'm going back to the start of the day. Sounds like heard you were grabbing some change, grab laundry. Yeah. But what was the mindset heading into this final round, knowing we were behind, but with this? Format? Yeah, yeah. I think this is a golf course where, obviously, with the stable for it, it's nice. You you never really feel like you're out of it. You know, you make an eagle or two, and you're you're right there. So um, I hadn't made an eagle yet this week, so I was um, that was that was kind of the goal, and just you know, play aggressive, not reckless. Um, this this course, um, you know, it, it allows you to make a lot of birdies if you're in position, and, um, you know, that was just kind of my, my goal is hit it in the fairway and attack as many pins as I could. Coming down the stretch on that final nine, what was kind of the conversations between you and Hunter? Um, he's he's awesome. He's cu he's cool as a cucumber all the time. He never the, – the moment never wavers him at all. He's always the exact same. He talks to me the same. Our, our process is the exact same, and um, – no, he uh, he said something yesterday where uh, we didn't exactly know where the wind was on a specific hole. I didn't know if it was off the left or off the right. And uh, he goes, hey, man, the ball's going to go wherever you hit it. So you just hit it straight. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. But he uh, <laughs> always makes me laugh, and you know, he's very grateful to have him you know, alongside of me. Anything uh, off the course you've learned between your – you know, amateur win in today that's maybe helped you on a week to week basis. Get, you know, you get used yeah, to the yeah. Court. Um, I think when I first, uh, you know, my first couple events, I always thought, you know, I had to be at the golf course all day, you know, practicing, grinding, and it's, you know, we do that week to week, you it's, it's a lot. So I think for me, it's like I've, I've tried to find a schedule and a routine and something that works for me, and that, that's been the hardest part is, you know, when do I work out. How long do I practice on Monday and Tuesday? When do I play my practice rounds? What's best for me? You know, a lot of these guys have their own certain things. Um, and also, especially this week, like I, I'm traveling with a fishing pole now, so I've been trying to go fishing every evening. And it's just that little reset that helps me not, you know, focus on golf all day long. I can kind of reset, have some fun, and come back out with a new mindset the next day. Did you catch anything? I haven't yet. Hunter caught one. He's been egging me on all day. Um, I think we might try to catch one this evening if we – no, just right here. I think there's a pond. I fished the truckie a little bit, but yeah, no luck. Going back to on 15, what were you feeling reading that and then once it fell in? Yeah, we had a um, had a really good line. I think I had a spot that was probably about 12, 15 feet away, and uh, Hunter pointed at a – it was a shadow from one of the trees in the greens. It was light. And he's like, hey, man, like, I, I kind of saw it going through. He's like, if you split that, it's it's going to be really good. And um, thought I might have hit it a little too hard, but, it, it you know, it split the shadow perfectly and, and went in. But, no, it's just, you know, you need to give it a chance. It's worth maybe running it a couple feet by, trying to make an eagle versus a birdie. But um, happy it fell in. Any wins, experiences, or when you were in contention as an amateur that you drew upon today? Yeah, Amex, for sure. Um you know, coming down the stretch there versus here was, you know, a little bit different having having a lead, you know, most of the day. But um, – and I, I look back on the tee shot I hit on Amex a lot on 18, and uh, I feel like I had a little bit of revenge with it um, this week. And it was a very similar wind. Um, 
and that was kind of what I was thinking about is I've, I've wanted revenge for that shot and, and to step up there and hit a good one when the pressure's on for a while. And um, I got that opportunity, and I'm, I'm you know, glad I was able to step up there and, and deliver it. I come from behind win this time, so what were the nerves like once you finished? Oh, they're the same. They're, uh, yeah, you, you know, hands shaking. Um, it's the greatest feeling in the world, uh, you know, for me. That's that's what I live for. That's what I practice for. And um, so I was telling Hunter, we got done uh, not knowing if it was enough, but just saying that was a lot of fun to be in that, that kind of moment. And um, I just, I love it. For those that weren't able to see, what were you doing while play was still going to kind of keep busy? Pacing. Um, I, it's it's not a great feeling when, when the ball's not in your hand and it's up to somebody else, but... Um, you know, tried to keep my eyes off the TV, but I wanted to know at the same time what was going on. And, uh, yeah, me and Hunter were playing $20 makes on the putting green, trying to, to loosen up and have a little bit of fun. But, um, yeah. I didn't see any fallen. No, 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 no. It was all, all square. Jeff, how's it Just a few. Uh, back to the range. Um, I know you guys said, like, at first you wanted to see your caddy hit some shots, and then you suggested having yeah. a putting contest. Just talk about that. Yeah, it's just, just keeping it loose. He, uh. I, you know, I've said it a lot. He's he's really really good for me. He he knows me. I think a lot more than I know myself sometimes. And uh, you know I, I I always enjoy competitions and games. And and for us to kind of do that it takes my mind off. And uh, you know have a little bit of fun, have some laughter, and um, yeah, just en enjoy the moment that we're in. Would you say that you won that too? No, we tied. Nobody nobody made anything unfortunately. Right, and then last two, uh, one, uh, just talk about getting the e-bike and riding that up and down the fairway. Yeah, that was <laughs> awesome. Apparently it was only on half throttle or half power. It goes two times faster than that. He said he didn't want to tear up the fairway. So I'm looking forward to, to enjoying that. I think Hunter has a farm um, that he lives on, so I might might gift him that. He, I think he's going to use it a lot more than I would. But, um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And then lastly, that trophy behind you weighs a ton. Just talk about having to hold that during the ceremony. Never gets old. Um, it really doesn't. I, I told myself, you know, after Amex, I wanted to enjoy the moment a little bit more. I felt like going through it, it kind of, you know, my mind was spinning, my world was spinning a little bit, and everything went extremely quick. And it's the only sour thing about this is that winning moment goes quickly. It doesn't stay as long as you might think just because, you know, tomorrow I'm flying to Minnesota and trying to repeat and do the exact same thing. So I promised myself if it did happen or when it happened again that I would try to enjoy it a lot more. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to look at it all night. Um, apologies as you say that and try to stay in the moment. But moving to 63 in the FedEx Cup, what's well, mindset is trying to make first playoffs? Yeah, um, it's been a goal. It's honestly – one of the reasons I, I played here, I took Scottish off. It was five weeks in a row. I felt like I was kind of worn out. I played some really good golf last week and thought that I uh, talked to Hunter, talked to my team, and I thought, you know, it was a good a good opportunity to come out here and play well. And uh, here, here I am. Do you have any others? Perfect. All good. Thank you. Thank you.